Hey guys, Mr. Crayfish, and welcome back to another modding tutorial. So this is an episode all you guys have been waiting for, and that is actually how to uh, compile your mod and distribute it. Now before I start this episode, I just want to apologize for not posting one of these in a while, and the reason that I'm recording this today is because I looked at the first episode, and I noticed that it almost had 20,000 views, so I thought that I owe it owe it to you guys because I'm getting a lot of nagging saying where's the next episode and it's finally here I'm very sorry um, and I'm not sure how long this series is gonna last um, to be honest I think I'm gonna do another episode and then that might be it and then we might work might start up a 1.8 series but I'm not really sure yet so in this episode I'm gonna show you how to compile and distribute your mod so here we go we finally got our mod all completed it's the best mod in the world obviously because it's cheese now you want to go over to the left here and you'll notice this mcmod.info file inside your resource folder here double click on that and it will open up and we've got a bunch of information to fill out so the first one here is the mod id and what you want to do is type in your mod id so we've got tm is our mod id pop that in there but you pop yours in there the name of our mod is tutorial mod but I'm going to change it in here and we're going to call it cheese mod and by the way this is the information that is, displ that is displayed when you go into the um, mod list in game and I'll show you in a second uh, description uh, put in the description of your mod so this mod adds in various cheese items various cheese items, armor, and tools. Then our version of our mod is 1.0. Make sure everything is in between the quotations. Um, our MC version is 1.7.10. Oops. 1.7.10. Our URL to our website. So if you have a website um, for your mod, uh, type it in there. I'm just going to do www.mrcrayfish.com. Uh, I might put HTTP as well. And then that makes a proper link. Then an update URL. Not really sure um, how this works. I'm not sure if it's implemented yet. Uh, I don't think it is, so just ignore that one. Uh, the author list. So you type in your name inside the quotations here. Now, if you have one or more author, authors working on this mod simply just do a comment outside the quotations there and then do another set of them and then pop in another name so we might have Bob Bob was helping me work on this mod the next bit here is the credits and what we've got to do is simply uh, take that out and what I suggest that you do write in is thank you Mr. Crayfish for the modding tutorials Oops, modding tutorials Now the logo file we're going to ignore because uh, right now it's broken. Um, it works in game or in a modding development but when you go into an actual um, legitimate environment it doesn't actually work. Uh, screenshots again is broken and dependencies we don't need to worry about. Now go ahead press the save button. Close that off. And then we're going to go ahead and run the game real quickly and this will show you what it looks like in the mod list. So if we go into mods and then we click on our cheese mod here, as you can see it says cheese mod, uh, the mod ID is TM and then we got credits, thank you Mr. Crayfish for the modding tutorials, authors Mr. Crayfish and Bob, our website is mrcrayfish.com and we can't actually click on that which is a little bit sad and then this mod adds in various cheese items, armor and tools. So there we go. Now to the actual compiling, what we've got to do is go to our mod folder here and you should be familiar with this. We're going to create a new file, so new file text document and then what you want to do this is call it build.bat and this is basically a batch file which will launch up into the command line. So uh, press yes and then what we want to do is right click it, click on edit and inside of there type in gradle w space build do file save 
and then go ahead and double click this file and it will start compiling your mod. And there we go, it is finally compiled and where it's located now is go into build here, libs, and then we've got this mod id 1.0.jar and this is your mod file. Simply right click it, rename it, and I'm just going to call this cheese mod version 1.0. Then we might put 1.0 and then we might do a bracket here with the Minecraft version, say 1.7.10. And there we go, this is the file that you want to upload to Dropbox or wherever and send the link to people um, for them to download the mod. Now what we're going to do real quickly is copy this and we're going to put it into a real environment just to see if it works. So it's going to paste it in there and then let's load up the game now. So here we are in a real Minecraft environment and let's go check if we've got our tools. So we've got our... Um, our main tools and then we've got our armor and you can pop that oopsie pop that armor on and we can go out and explore how awesome is that epic cheese mod then we've also got our cheese our grilled cheese we've got a cheese stick and then we've got our cheese block so let's just uh, place that down awesome let's also see if we can find it automatically generating in a cave or something like that. Let's have a look in here. Let's get some torches. Oh, and there we go already. We found some generated right at the start there. So there we go. It is working in a real Minecraft environment. And now it is time to distribute your mod. Uh, you kind of want to test it first before you distribute it just to make sure there's no bugs and stuff like that. But uh, if you've only. Um, done what I've done in this tutorial uh, there's gonna be absolutely no bugs because it's basically basically impossible for there to be a bug because it's just what we've done is so simple there's no way um, that there's gonna be a bug but anyway that's gonna end off this episode today hopefully you learn how to compile and distribute your mods um, if you do go post them on the Minecraft forums or anywhere like that uh, post a link in the description because I'd love to see what you guys have made following my tutorials and yeah it's just be it'll just be awesome to see what you guys have done so that's going to end it off make sure you hit that like button in the next episode uh, probably going to be the last one unfortunately but we're going to be going over block renders like I've made in my furniture mod so uh, make sure you stick around for that and I will see you guys next time